He's got two to his right now for Argentina. Relations between England and Argentina on the football pitch have usually been pretty vexed affairs. Takes on Bridge. Right, oh, it's going to be a goal! Ernan Crespo has done it for Argentina, the Chelsea man. And by his standards, it turned out to be a simple chance. And the when they met American in Geneva in 2005 for a friendly, it had more edge to it and more at stake than any other friendly during Sven Joran Eriksson's tenure as England manager. England have equalised and it's Wayne Rooney and one number nine here replies to the other. We saw what a fit Michael Owen could do, partnered by a rampaging but disciplined Wayne Rooney. Roberto Ayala that led to that. Oh, it's up in the air, isn't it, by Ayala? Knocked on by Beckham and Rooney reads it and gets there to finish it off. Now, is Riccardi going to try and test Robinson from here? He chips it in, and there's Demichelis, and it's over the line, and Argentina have scored. And Samuel was right in there, as well as Demichelis, and Argentina are 2-1 up. Walter Samuel of Inter Milan will claim it, even though it was finished off there just in case by Ayala. Gerard again from the right-hand side. Joe Cole's up. Oh, and there it is! It's the equaliser by Michael Owen. And England are back at 2-2. Just look at the celebrations down on the bench. You'd think it was a World Cup match. Wonderful moment for England. Three minutes from the end of the 90. Steven Gerrard with the cross. Joe Cole went in first, but Owen was lurking behind him. Steven Gerrard, what a ball into the box. Michael Owen drifts away from Zanetti, the full-back and finishes comfortably to make it two It's a fantastic final minutes. What a climax in the first minute of stoppage time now. Joe Cole. Crouch comes in far side, but the... Oh! Then we've got it! England have scored again, it's Michael Owen! It's 3-2! Michael Owen there again, and Argentina are deflated. What an extraordinary few minutes. What a great finish. Joe Cole, he's had a big influence since he's come on, he drifts inside again. Perfect pass in, Michael Owen gets in front of the Argentinian defender and Peter Crouch and scores past the Argentinian goalkeeper, who's been absolutely massive in that goal. Would you believe it? England 2-1 down with three minutes of normal time to go, now find themselves 3-2 up and the mood of the nation will change with this one, surely. And there it is, England win in Geneva. Things all been well for both teams for the World Cup in 2006. Sadly for both of them, quarter-final exits meant that this game would remain a precious island unto itself, and not, as we'd hoped, a glimpse into the future. Steven Gerrard, the inspirational Captain Marvel, who'd already driven his Liverpool side on to an unlikely victory in the Champions League the previous year, led his team out at the Millennium Stadium for the FA Cup final against recently promoted West Ham United in 2006. And it's going to be an own goal! It's an own goal! West Ham have taken the lead! West Ham, though, had not read the script, and as much through luck as judgment, went two goals up. Puts Liverpool behind. Their fans were in dreamland. Oh, this is Edrington. Takes on Hoopier. Edrington shot, oh, fumbled by Rayner, Dean Ashton, and have West Ham gone to it? Yes, they have. It's the second goal, and it's the two players who only just made the team after injury, Edrington and Ashton. Gerard. Oh, and Cissé was coming in there. Oh, and he's got it! How cruel football can be, though, especially to the underdog. The Hammers could almost reach out and touch the trophy. But once again, Liverpool's ability not to accept defeat saved them. Absolutely brilliant pass over Scaloni. Fantastic technique. Reese has played it short to Gerrard. He can't make room for the shot. This is a long No prizes for guessing who scored the equaliser. Here comes Gerrard! It's 2-2! Two -two. It's Steven Gerrard for Liverpool!
what a match we have here. Now, Koncheski picking that up from Etherington. Ashton's in the centre. So to his head. Oh, it's gone right in! Koncheski, would you believe it? The left back has scored an impossible goal in the cup final. And West Ham are back in front. Extraordinary. This would be voted goal of the season. Oh, it's fallen. It. Gerard! He's got it! Oh, Steven Gerard! Just when he looked injured and out of it, and equalised for Liverpool. With 90 minutes gone, it's 3-3. Three, three. Before the penalty shootout, West Ham, like AC Milan before them, looked defeated and spent. Saved by Rayner. Scores comfortably. Liverpool's goalkeeper Rayner had a shot at redemption after his earlier mistakes, and he took it with both hands. So, just when you think you've seen everything, football serves up new and unique twists in its never-ending, unfurling drama. It's the greatest and most addictive reality show on Earth, and our appetite for it shows no sign of diminishing.